a picturesque city on the Tennessee River, deep in the American South. It doesn't take long to see what matters most in Chattanooga. It seems there's a church on every single corner, and many in between too. But not far behind religion right now is the automobile. This is more than just America's love for everything on four wheels. This is about a famous brand from faraway Germany. Volkswagen, the people's car, now is Chattanooga's car too. VW's ultra-high-tech production plant has become a big source of pride here. But for now, for all the sunshine, it's under a cloud. And VW is in crisis mode, imposing a media blackout not just on its own operations, but on its network of suppliers too. But for everybody else, the scandal is the talk of the town. So we spent a couple of days getting a sense of what people here think. We spoke to The Economist, working out what all this means for the local economy. To the workers, who are worried their jobs are in danger. To the politician, who doesn't like the labor unions getting involved. And to the activist, worried about the millions of dollars of sweetness that the politicians gave VW. Let's start with the prognosis from University of Chattanooga economist Bruce Hutchinson. I think there will be some loss of jobs. Uh, I will be surprised if VW headquarters in Germany doesn't make decisions to primarily keep its employment level at its factories and business locations in Germany. I think most of any reduction in employment will be spread among production facilities through the rest of the world, including Chattanooga. All of that is keeping this man awake at night. Mike Cantrell is head of the United Auto Workers Union in Chattanooga. He's come to meet a couple of colleagues at their temporary base near the VW plant. It's temporary because Volkswagen hasn't formally recognized their union yet, after they narrowly failed to win the backing of the plant's workers. That leaves them feeling vulnerable if the axe does start to fall. I just know that we need recognition, especially for times like this. If we would have had a work council in place and a union in place by this time, we would at least had a, an ideal that if things need to be adjusted or tightened for a period of time, we would know the process. Mm -hmm. We would not know, uh, we would not just have an unknown. And I'm single income household. I have uh, two daughters that I try to support, and I definitely have to start thinking about changes if something doesn't happen soon. But I, in the meantime, will support BW 100%, and I just ask them to do the same. It brought a big weight, uh, and, and, you've, and with that in mind, you're going to have the fear. People are, are, feel like they're stepping on eggshells, and. Mm -hmm. They're making preparations to get other employment. They're, they're thinking about their families. VW says it's open to union recognition, but even that is highly controversial in the American South, where unions have struggled to gain a foothold. Republican State Senator Todd Gardenhire says unions don't protect jobs, they stifle the economy. And he says the current crisis at VW is no reason to change his mind. Why does the UAW want to come in here? They got great benefits, they got a brand new plant, they got safety. Uh, they've got uh, a company that's trying to do the best for employees. They've got a, com a community that wants to do best for the employees. And there's another political factor to throw in the mix. Garden High supported the hundreds of millions of dollars worth of incentives that were given to VW to build and expand the plant. Are those taxpayers' dollars now at risk? If worse came to worse, then the Volkswagen would have to pay us back the incentives that, they, uh, that, that were uh, put up. Of course, we've got the land, we've got the, the building and everything. Is, we got collateralized pretty good. But others do see cause for concern, like the taxpayers activist Helen Burns Sharp. She worries that Chattanooga drove an unequal bargain as David to VW's Goliath. David is not as wealthy and David is not as big and David is more vulnerable and, and David is operating on, on faith largely here and these agreements that that, that Goliath is going to do what they said they were going to do. A small city that's tied its fate to that of a giant corporation. As another day passes here in Chattanooga, its people are waiting for VW's next move.